Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mix tutorials. We've been going on posting groups like forever and today I'm going to do something different. Yes, we're going to go away from posting groups. I think I completed that pro um, project to a good end, left it in a good place. Uh, I might come back to it. Uh, it's a lot of fun to see all the postings there if you're like, really deep into it. But for most of us, um, we're just working with NAV on a day-to-day -day basis. We like to know what features and functionalities are there. <clears throat> and I did get a request uh, to show something on the purchase invoice. Um, and the problem was, uh, and we're going to have this imaginary problem here at the Coffee Mug International as well. Uh, we are buying always the same thing, same thing over and over and over again from the same vendor. And uh, the question is, how can we uh, make this easy, make this an easy process? And uh, so I'm going to jump in here and just talk about the purchase invoice and one particular feature of the purchase invoice. Um, so if I go in here into purchase invoices, and in this case, we're always buying uh, coffee beans from the American wood exports. Yeah, they have a site business. They sell us coffee beans. Um, and we're buying the standard coffee mug. Um, so I don't want to type that in every single month or every single week that I need to buy it from them. I just wanted to sort of pop in. Um, so this is one way we can do it. If I go here into new and into the purchase invoice, I'm actually going to just start one for the American Wood Exports. Uh, see here. Um, and if I take a look at this, uh, up here in actions, we have something called get recurring purchase lines. This is a really handy tool. Uh, I don't know if you ever used it or you ever even noticed it, um, but it's there. So if I go in here, I can actually set up standard vendor purchase codes for this vendor. Uh, and if I'm, I'm just going to create a new one and create a new purchase code. And I'm going to call it uh, stuff, just standard stuff. Hopefully you'll name it better. Um, and so for my standard stuff that I'm getting from this vendor, i just throw that in here. Uh, I can actually go into the cart and I get a header in lines, right? And so here I could say, well, okay, I always buy the, um, let me see, the standard coffee mug. That's right. I think we have uh, 61 being the coffee beans and 62 being the French roast beans. Uh, we always get, uh, let's say, five or 50 bags. I'm sorry, 50 mugs, 50 bags, 50 bags. And then just hit OK on this, right? So, so you notice now that it actually automatically populated. So all I had to do was get recurring purchase lines. So for the next one, I could just go up here and hit get recurring purchase lines and just show this again. So we have, uh, have it all the way from the beginning. Let's say I have nothing here. Get recurring purchase lines, go to my stuff, hit OK, and it's there, right? So you can set up stuff um, <laughs> stuff and stuff uh, and have the, uh, the, the quantities there and the uh, items that you want to buy or GL accounts um, for any costs and stuff like that. That can be set up as well. Now, what about if we want to set up the price? Notice that I didn't set up the price and it's probably picking up the, uh, or the costs, direct cost to the, uh, the vendor from the card. Well, if I go in here and take a look at my stuff, um, I can show column right here and you can actually add unit of measure, you can add amount excluding tax, and you have also the dimensions here, variant. So you can um, definitely put in more things on the line and so that, that things work out for you. Uh, so I hope this was uh, educational. This is a little hidden feature. I don't think many people 
are using this a lot, but it, it's, it's definitely very useful and probably more people could use it than are using it today. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thumbs up if you like this or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, uh, see you later.